Hello everybody, this is Grim Skellington, and this is going to be another video of mine. It's going to be a new Let's Play I'm starting. As you can see, if you're familiar with the game, this is Fallout New Vegas. I am currently at the Mojave Outpost. Yeah, I know this isn't Minecraft, but I thought I would have this going alongside with it. I have no intentions of quitting Minecraft at all. I'm enjoying it way too much. But I also play other games occasionally, and I thought you guys would like to join me along for this. If you've noticed, having played the game before or not, that there are a lot of NPCs running around, that's because I'm playing a modded version of it right now. This has nine mods running currently. None of them are terribly game-changing, except for the ones that I added for the sake of changing the game specifically. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick run over it so you guys know what's going on. Uh, the first and most obvious one is going to be zombies. I have two separate zombie mods running, which kind of affects it a little bit. I thought that they worked well together. I actually recommended that I put them together as well, so it's not terribly... Okay, yeah, it's pretty game-changing. That's pretty much the entire point of it, though. Also, just for the sake of it, I'm not going to be running. Oh, maybe they're shooting a zombie there. I can't really tell. Eh, they probably were. But Mojave Outpost, lots of guns. Guns tend to kill them pretty fast. Also, one of the other mods I have running right now is called Realistic Headshots. It pretty much makes it so that headshots are instant kills. Oh, that was a zombie, I think. Not enough. So, ends up working for most creatures. It's a zombie right there. You guys can see he's he's a real beauty. Yeah. So, I have that one running. I also have realistic combat mod that pretty much just makes it so that armor is more effective and bullets do more damage. So, I basically need to have it armor. My current armor right now is my personal favorite. The Vault 34 security armor. I'm just going to show that real quick. As you can see, look kind of like a SWAT team person, maybe. I'm not sure. But, I'm fond of it. It doesn't weigh me down any, and it works better than a lot of the other weigh you down armors. Also, caught this dirt cheap to fix, which is wonderful. I already have that fixed up, though. Also, I have a World of Pain mod, which adds a couple more underground areas mainly. It only affects the overworld a little bit, but not a whole lot. Also, it, I have a mod that removes the invisible walls. And then, probably the only thing that's really going to change my actual gameplay itself is the DK bullet time, which I have mapped to X, just in case I'm ever saying, oh no, press X, something like that. Got X, slows everything down here. Slows it down for everyone, myself included. And it uses up action points. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner there, you can see that bar decreasing. Normally it's reserved for vats, but in this case, it's bullet time. So, yeah, I think that's mostly it. Oh, also, the. I already mentioned it, but I have two mods Watch that out. add a lot Watch of extra out. NPCs Watch around out. the place. So, that is what I've done for the mods, at least. Also, just gonna go over my inventory real quick so you guys can see where I'm starting off here. I have a fair amount of healing supplies here. Got some food. I'm not running it on hardcore mode because I'm a pansy. Uh, I have 22 sunset sarsaparillas, so I think that's a pretty good starting amount right there. I have 10 millimeter rounds. I have plenty of those right now, and the only th items I'm gonna be starting off with are dynamites and my silenced extra magazine 10 millimeter pistol, which is mostly up in quality right now. I'm not sure where these zombies are spawning, so I'm just kind of paranoid that I'm going to get mugged here. So, I'm going to go ahead and start going. I'm going to go ahead and start having the other summaries as I'm running along here. Unfortunately, the game does crash a little bit with all these mods running, so if it crashes, I guess I'll probably just end the video right there, because I won't be able to record after the crash. So, eh, stopping points and everything. The going along here. Right now I'm still in pretty protected territory. Speak of the devil, it decided to crash. So I hope that's not an omen what's to come because if it starts crashing too much I'm not going to be able to play this because it's going to send me right back to my other save points. And I suppose I'll save frequently but I don't know if it ends up becoming a problem I'm not going to be able to do this. But so far so good. Well not so good but so far it's still working. So I'm going to go along see how this works out. 
As I was saying, though, Mojave, up to this territory, pretty much down through this ramp here, is pretty protected because of all the extra NPCs. The guns end up just shredding them, the zombies. So I have to be careful to make sure I don't run out of ammunition. Hopefully I'll be right, all right otherwise. Anyways, unlike my Minecraft videos, I actually have an end objective here. I have a set starting point right here, and I also have a set ending point where through my quests, if I make it to a certain point, I'll probably just quit at that. Oh, bullet time. As you can see, bullet time kind of makes quick work of few if just a few zombies if they appear. Alright, so like I was saying real quick, I'm going to show you guys on the map my plans. I'm going to start here in Mojave Outpost. There's my little icon right there. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to travel up to get to Novak. I'm going to probably be following this road down and through here, stopping along the outposts on the way for supplies. I'm going to probably be raiding a lot so I can get some extra guns. So, once I make it to Novak, I'm probably going to be cutting across the interior of the desert, the Mojave Desert. I'm going to go to Good Springs. Huh, I don't remember being vilified there. Well, anyways, I make my main base there. So, I have most of my main supplies. I have a whole bunch, whole crap load of guns and a whole lot of health there. So, if I can get there, I'm pretty set as far as supplies goes for a little while. Then, after I make it to Good Spring, I'm gonna make my slow way up to Gun Runners. Once I'm up in Gun Runners, I'm gonna stock up on guns with whatever money I have left. As of right now, I'm pretty set on money. I got twelve thousand dollars. Hopefully, that'll buy a gun or two with some ammunition if I still have it by the time I get there. Go stop in Gun Runners. I'm gonna check out New Vegas. I'm not sure if I'm gonna recruit Rex or not. I'm kind of worried about having a melee guy, just because. I mean, these are zombies. I don't know. I might. Probably go based on a lot of, a lot on comments if you guys want that. And finally, after I get out of New Vegas, I'm going to make my way up through here, along the road, stopping at checkpoints along the way, until I get to Jacobstown. And that is my end goal, because Jacobstown is a super mutant town that is friendly with me right now. So, I figure if anyone can survive, it's them, because they're separated away from New Vegas with the population centers. And... They're all super mutants. I mean, they can just crush the head with their hand or something. So, that is my plan, my objective. I'm gonna try to go through there. Where did you come from? <laughs> much of a threat. Also, if anyone has a mod that fixes that, because I know it's part of Fallout and everything, but it kind of annoys me that if I shoot them in the head, their entire body explodes. Especially with such a weak gun. I mean, tillimeters, tillimeters, not necessarily something to laugh at, but it's not to be exploding your entire body with a headshot. But... Anyways. I'd kind of like a fix to that, if I could get one. If anyone has one. Oh, wow. There's a lot more zombies through here than there was last time. By last time, I mean that I went from, I made a trip from Good Springs down to Mojave the first time just to see if this run would be possible. And it was. It actually wasn't that difficult at all. But evidently, there's been a couple more zombies spawning in the meantime. So, where's that road? There's a road. Alright, so I'm going to start on my trip here. Took care of that, the zombies. So there's more zombies than I've seen in one... I've seen in one place than anywhere else yet. So, I don't know. This is starting off with a lot of bad elements here. Over there's the desert. Uh, wow. This has come up on me fast, though. Personally, I'm kind of a zombie purist when it comes to zombies because I really like them when they're slow. But in this case, there's just not enough people. I mean, in a lot of other games, like... I don't know. But a lot of other games... If you find zombies, it works well if they're slow because usually there's a lot of NPCs running around. But in this one, short of Freeside and New Vegas, there's not really a lot of people. So it kind of, I don't know, slow zombies wouldn't really work quite as well, in my opinion. Because I still like to have some <laughs> Even if they 
have a bad tendency to fall entirely apart once you shoot their heads. Gunshots. Huh. Are they shooting at me? Oh, oh crap. They're shooting at me. Alright. Ooh, looks like that one hit me in the head. The problem is, now, that <laughs> with the headshots killing enemies, it also kills me. Which I'm mostly fine with, but that means I have to be a lot more careful than I normally am to make sure that they don't get my head. Had enough? And it looks like she's right over here. Where are you, girl? Jeez, she's like a ninja. And does, are those ears? I don't know, but she wants to have to be There we go. What? More of them. Okay. Is that all of you guys? Nope. And aim. <laughs> Where are you guys coming from? I hope that's the last of them, because I'm out. I have turned off the cinematic kills things because I figure if I have slow motion, if I really want to see something in slow motion, I can do it myself. I don't really need to rely on the computer to do that for me. Oh, but now that I've killed them, I can loot their bodies, which will give me more guns and ammo. Um, dirty water, I don't really need it. Uh, iguana on a stick. No. Light pipe. Well, I don't know. I don't do any melee, but it can't hurt to have an uh, ammo-less gun. Bottle caps, frag grenades, that's good. If you cripple their legs, evidently the zombies stay down. So, I can't imagine that's going to hurt us all either. Get that knife. Like I said, I don't really usually do it, but first time for everything, right? Let's pipe leather armor. Uh, no, I don't want to take up space. The radix will do well, though. Radix. Not sure exactly which one it is. But that'll be helpful because the zombies give off radiation sometimes. So, I'd kind of rather not die from that. Where's that ah, 10 millimeter pistol girl? I'm going to save that later for healing up my pistol since mine is the better of the two. Because it has all the fancy gadgets added onto it. So I'm going to save that for a little bit later when I need it. I'm going to scrap the parts to fix up my 10 millimeter. Uh, yeah, I got the lead pipe just to fix the other one. Get the med -X. Everything else can really be ditched though. I don't really need any of the other stuff there. Other lead pipe, mintats. Mintats are a type of drug that makes you slightly better. So, probably gonna be stocking up on some drugs, even if I don't tend to use them very much in game. Or outside of the game for that matter. Let's get. Pause that. Picks up one of these leather pipe. Lead pipes. Alright, got a fully fixed lead pipe there. I'm not sure how good it'll do me, how much good it'll do me, but it can't hurt. Fix up the knife as well with the other lead pipe. I have the jury rigging perk so I can fix things up with <laughs> usually largely unrelated parts. So it's really nice. I should have too much trouble keeping my guns in good supply. Good quality. Oh boy. Lots more zombies. Headshot you. Hmm, wait for you to get closer. And headshot you. Alright. I'm wondering if I'm going to need to put some self-enclosed limit on my VATS use. Or VATS bullet time use here, because otherwise I'm kind of afraid that I'm just going to walk through the game using that all the time. Which I don't honestly intend to do, but it's kind of my first response at this point is, Oh, enemy coming up. I suppose I'll VATS that. And... Ha! Huh. See? That was quality. That was done without cheating. And that took more bullets than should have. Okay, I'm coming up to Nelson here. It doesn't usually have any people in it because it kind of got raided by the Legion. So, right now, I'm not anticipating too much density, but I'm also hoping that there's going to be some houses that I can loot some junk from. If I can loot that junk, then hopefully it'll give me the supplies necessary to make it up to Novak. 